my name is Claire. I'm going to be guiding you through shorter practice today. So whether you're inside your house or outside in the fresh air, I hope you're able to join me today in this pretty gentle flow. So I'm excited to be teaching. I just spent about a month in India and it's been a while since I got to teach a class. So we'll go ahead and get started in a child's pose. I know that you can take this pose at any time during this practice, kind of like a home base. Knees can be wider together. Just walk your hands out nice and far and let your chest and forehead melt between your arms. While you're here, letting go of any external distractions. Starting to tune into that deep belly breath. In through the nose and out through the nose. Expanding through the lungs, through the rib cage. Letting it up go. Here, we'll bend at the elbows, bring the palms together behind the nape of the neck. Getting a nice stretch in the triceps, if you'd like, elbows can work, walk further away from the knees as you let the chest melt a little bit closer towards the mat. Breathe and expand through the lungs and the chest and let it go. Now, if you'd like, set an, an intention for your practice right here. Maybe simply, I am here. I am breathing in. I am breathing out. Whatever it is, let that sink in with an inhale. And exhale. Great, in the elbows, plant the palms, spread the fingers nice and wide. And then just lift the head and chest. We're gonna move through a couple rounds through swan, back to child's pose. So hands are a little bit wider than the shoulders as you inhale, go ahead and lift the hips, and then dip the pelvis low, pointing the toes towards the back of the head, open up through the throat and chest. Exhale back to Balasana. At your own pace. Again, inhaling to come forward. Exhale as you take it back. Three more times. Now the next time you Pass back, toes tuck, tuck under, you press down, lift the hips and drop the chest, finding Adho Mukha Svanasana or downward facing dog. Take a moment here and pedal out through the feet, extending one heel down at a time towards the earth. Thinking about pressing, using your hands to pull and press the front half of your mat away from you, like you're ripping your mat apart with your hands and with your feet. Take an inhale as you lift the heels up nice and high. Exhale, release them down towards the earth. Again, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, drop them. Inhale, lift the heels. Now roll forward, finding your high plank. So the shoulders stack right over the wrists. Pelvis stays lifted. Take an inhale. And then slowly lower the left knee down. Lift the right leg and the left arm. So opposite leg, opposite arm for a spinal balance. Take an inhale here as you reach and extend. Exhale, round it underneath. Inhale, lengthen. 
exhale, contract. Inhale, exhale. Last time, inhale, extend, reach and lengthen. And then bend that right knee. Left hand reaches for the top of the foot, maybe the ankle. Giving the strength of the foot to kick into the hand. Maybe lift the gaze. Holding here for a breath. Slowly lower the right knee down. Continue to hold onto the foot. A little bit of a twist here as we gaze over the left shoulder. Down, hand comes down. And take an inhale, finding your cow pose. Exhale, your cat. Inhale, your cow. Tuck the toes under, exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale, lift the heels, roll forward, high plank. Same thing on the other side, slow, lower right knee down, lift the left leg. Right arm reaches forward. Inhale and reach, extend, press the left heel away. Use your exhale to round forward. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale, let it go. Last time, extend and reach and lengthen, stretch, bend at the left knee. Right hand reaches for the ankle or the top of the foot. As you kick into the hand, opening up the chest and the right shoulder. Three. Now keep a hold of the right foot. Just slowly, this is your left foot. Slowly lower the left knee down. Little twist as you exhale and gaze over the right shoulder. It's a little bit of a twist. Release the foot, hand comes down. Round the spine, and then take the knees wide, press back into a brief child's pose, Balasana. Anytime you're in your child's pose, taking this as a moment to recommit to your intention, renew your commitment to your breath again and again. When you're ready, begin to press back up. Find your downward facing dog. And then you slip forward. Feet find the hands at the top of your mat. Hanging nice and heavy here. So bend the knees as much as you need to to get the rib cage close to the thighs and the head drops heavy down towards the earth. Shaking the head, maybe shaking a gentle sweat. Slowly bring your fingertips up onto your shins as you peel the belly and the chest off of the thighs. Crown of the head extends forward away from the tail, finding your halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And then exhale, bow forward. Two more times like that. Inhale, extend the spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha. Send the arms to the sides, rise all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, upward hand, reach towards the sky. Hands come down to meet heart center. Okay, so we're going to kind of smooth out those movements, add a little personality to them, moving through some sun salutations and then some variations of a sun sal. So stay with me or do what your body feels good for you right now. Inhale, reach and lengthen, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Again, inhale your halfway lift. And exhale, left foot steps back, followed by the right into a high plank. From the knees or from the toes, slowly lower your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. On an exhale, your downward facing dog. Good. Left foot steps forward. 
followed by the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And reverse your swan dive, rise to stand and drop. Exhale, hands come down to your heart. Move into a sun B. Right from here, as you inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit back into your chair pose. So when you're in Utkatasana, think about squeezing your inner thighs together. At the same time, splitting your mat apart with your feet. So energetically pulling the outer feet apart. Your chest stays lifted. Inhale. Exhale, lift the hips and fold. Take an inhale as you extend the spine. Right, and then plant the hand, step or hop both feet back into a high plank. Slow, lower your chaturanga. Inhale, your upward facing dog or cobra. Take your time as you move to down dog. Inhale, lift that right leg up nice and high. Bend the knee, flex the foot as you draw it in towards the chest. Float it forward between the hands. We all take a moment here. Probably on their fingertips if you have blocks, you can use those. Letting the pelvis drop down and forward, chest peels up nice and high. And as you exhale, take the hips up and back, extend through the right knee, release the forehead down towards the shin. Slowly come forward, rebending. Keep lifting that left heel up nice and high. Begin to float the fingertips up off of the mat. And finding your center, your core, so zipping up. Center line. When you're ready, arms can reach up overhead, or they can stay down on the weights or hips. Good. Relax the shoulders. Reach to the fingertips like you own them. And a little bit of a twist here. Left hand comes forward. Right arm draws back into a water wheel. If you'd like more, right hand releases down the back side of the left leg as the left fingertips reach up and back, lifting up away from the left hip. And then still the breath. With your core, come back upright. Right hand sweeps forward. One more inhale to reach tall. Exhale, both hands come down to frame the right foot. Left hand stays down, right arm lifts up into a lunge twist. And we're going to move into Vasistasana or side plank. You can always modify, left knee comes down. Otherwise, left knee stays lifted, right foot steps back, staggering the feet, right foot in front of the left. Moving left. Pressing the hips up nice and tall. If you'd like, right arm can reach and extend over the right ear. Take one more inhale. Exhale, right hand comes down, forward plank. Option to move through chaturanga or meet right and down or facing dog. Ground through that right foot, lift the left leg up nice and high to the sky. And bend the knee, flex the left foot as you draw it in and plant it forward between the hands, finding a long runner's lunge. On blocks or on fingertips, lifting and peeling the chest forward and open. As you exhale, lift the hips, take them back as you extend through the left knee and release the forehead down. Inhale, 
Inhale yourself back forward. And staying lifted, lifting up onto that right heel. Press and ground down through the left foot. Engage your core, zip it up. Keep your breath soft and gentle and focused. When you're ready, take the time as you reach and rise up into a high crescent lunge. Relax your shoulders down, but keep reaching through your fingertips like you mean it. Right hand comes forward. Left arm draws back this time. Either staying here or reversing your water wheel. Left hand draws down the back of the right thigh. Right arm reaches up and over. and your breath to bring you to your center. Cartwheel the hands down. Right hand stays and plants. Left arm opens up into a lunge twist. Again, moving into our Vatisasana or side plank. You can always modify this by dropping the right knee down. Left foot steps back. Or having both feet together behind. Option to reach and extend the left arm over the left ear. Keep the hips lifted. Keep the breath deep and strong. One more inhale, you got it. Exhale, left hand comes down, finding your high plank. And then slowly move through your chaturanga. We'll meet in a downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, finishing off this variation of a sun B. Feet to meet the hands, bend the knees, drop the hips, come back into Utkatasana. And then extend, hands come down to the sides or heart center. Observe the breath as it is, you know. Inhale, reach, rise up to stand. Exhale, forward fold. And take both feet back into a plank. And then slowly lower all the way onto the belly. Find your way into a sphinx pose. Finding a few breaths here. Just taking a moment to observe your breath. Observing any sounds, sensations. Take broken wing, a little bit of a shoulder opener. So we'll start bringing the left arm out to the left. Right hand comes underneath the right shoulder. And then as you exhale, slowly roll, roll over onto the left side of your body. So you're coming on to the front of your left shoulder. You use your right foot as a kickstand. Your right hand for some leverage. more breath. And then going to exhale, rolling back onto the front body. Switching sides, right hand comes out to the right, left hand comes under the left shoulder. And as you exhale, rolling over onto the right side of your body.
tail back onto your front body. Now having both hands out to a T, we'll take one variation of a locust pose. So zip the legs up like you have one long mermaid tail. And then as you inhale, lift the arms, lift the chest and the shoulders. Pressing the big toes down onto the floor. And then slowly lower down. We'll do it one more time. This time, if you'd like, you can also lift the legs. So take a deep inhale. As you exhale, lift the arms, the chest, the shoulders. Keep zipping the legs up together, pointing the toes away from the crown of the head, lifting up a little bit taller as you inhale. And relax the face and the jaw. One more breath. And then slowly come down. We'll make a pillow. Windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Now we'll come into one more downward facing dog to transition into our pigeon pose. So come and lift the hips. Lift that right leg up nice and high. If you'd like, bend the knee and open up the hip. And then slowly draw it in towards the center of the chest. Release it down between the hands. Now take your time setting up. You might even want to take a 90-90 pose or a deer pose, you'll bend the back leg at 90 degrees. So both legs are making two 90 degree angles. See what works best for you. You might stay upright, maybe fold forward, or maybe slightly rotating over to the right and folding to the right of the right thigh. So wherever you can access that target area, which is the outer right hip and glute. Wherever you are, let the rhythmic nature of your breath just begin to take over. Letting go completely. One more deep inhale, let it all go. Slowly begin to press up and rise. Hands come down, strain the left leg, tuck the left toes under, press back into a downward facing dog and pedal it out for a moment. Lift that left leg, bend the knee. Take your time as you move forward and set up for pigeon on the left side. The side might be different. Maybe you try that 90-90 or deer pose on this side, or maybe the back leg is straight. Yoga is a dance between control and surrender. So right now, just surrender. Surrender into what is. Breathe into what is.
one more deep breath in. Take your time as you exhale. One more like that, actually. Slowly inhale. Whatever it is you're still holding on to, let it go. Now when you're ready, come and press up. And swing that right leg around. And then roll down all the way onto your back. Draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug. Keep holding on to the right knee, but release the left leg long. Left leg becomes heavy as you squeeze that right knee in towards the chest, maybe even a little bit over to the right. We're moving into a twist, so if you have a variation that you prefer, go right ahead and move into that. Or if you're with me, left hand finds the right knee, right arm extends out to the right, and then the right knee draws across the body over to the left. Relax through the shoulders, soften through the belly, soften the face and the jaw. Allow a deep breath to fill the belly. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Slowly return back onto your spine. Draw the left knee in and then release the right leg. Squeeze that left knee in towards the chest. And then left hand finds the le right hand finds the left knee. Left hand comes out to the left, moving into your spinal twist on this side. One more full breath, filling the belly and the lungs, letting it all go. And then returning to your spine, hugging both knees into the chest. Taking any final little movements, so maybe a happy baby or another twist. When you're ready to move into final rest or meditation, find a comfortable position for you. And lay down in Savasana. Maybe bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Allowing everything to settle and synthesize paying homage to your body for all that it's done and all that it continues to do for you every day. Allowing a sense of peace and comfort to wash over you. With every exhale, taking away any fears, any worries. And every inhale, bringing a sense of calm and peace to every cell of the being. I encourage you to stay here a few minutes, maybe for the rest of your day, however long you need. And thank you so much for joining me, following through my short flow for you this morning. This is my first one of these that I've done during this quarantine, so I hope to do more.
Milka, Samosta, Sukun, Sukinu, Bovantu. May all beings be happy, healthy, and free. May my words, may my thoughts, may actions contribute to